Oh my god. I hope it won't taste that bad. There is no place in such a supplement like this to go for natural things. Oh, this smells really good. It's because I really like the... Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lenka and I'm a sports nutrition specialist. Today we talked about Vega Rest and Repair Protein Powder. As usually, I will look at the product and talk about the price, ingredients, macros and some science-based evaluation. Don't forget to watch until the end for the taste test. I've mentioned Vega brand before, I've talked about Vega Sport Premium Protein Powder, Protein and Greens and today I will review Vega Rest and Repair in two different flavors and that is Strawberry Chocolate and Vanilla Caramel. Do you need all these supplements? When and how do they benefit you? Can you have something else to achieve similar or even better results? I will try my best to answer all these questions within this video. I bought both flavors on Taobao and you can get it for $39.99 in the official store. Considering that the weight is only 400 grams or 15 scoops, that's $2.6 per serving, which is quite a lot in my opinion. The main question is, is it worth the money? So firstly, how is this protein powder different from the regular ones? Rest and repair is taking 60 to 30 minutes before bed and it supposedly helps you rest better and recover faster after training. It contains few compounds a regular protein powder doesn't, such as non-habit forming melatonin, calcium and magnesium. Another difference is the warning of not exceeding the maximum amount per day, which is 1 scoop or 27 grams. The macros are a bit different compared to the other Vega brand products. Hey, just a reminder that if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel for more related content. Here I compare Vega Sport Premium protein and greens and rest and repair, all per 25 grams. Calories are very similar. Vega Sport Premium has the highest protein content with 18.3 grams, rest and repair with 16 grams and protein and greens with 15 grams. They are all very low in carbs, so the amount of fiber will be insignificant. Fat is low in all four products. Let's have a look at micronutrients. Calcium is present in all four products and ranges for 6% of recommended daily intake in protein and greens, up to 13% in Vega Sport Premium. Protein and greens is highest in iron with 27%. Magnesium is only present in resin repair with 12%. Potassium is a bit higher in resin repair than in Vega Sport Premium. Protein and greens contains no potassium. Sodium ranges for 10% in resin repair up to 17% in Vega Sport. All products contain essential amino acids, so does Vega claims. I was able to find essential amino acids values in chronometer for Vega Sport Premium and Protein and Greens, but rest and repair didn't have it. On the packaging, it says that the daily values are not established, which is a bit weird, especially since the BCAAs support muscle repair during sleep and are one of the special ingredients in this product. Anyways, they claim to have added leucine, but don't mention how much. As for the ingredients, there are not many. Both flavors are made of plant protein and amino acid blend, which is pea protein, brown rice protein, organic pumpkin seed protein, and L-leucine. Strawberry chocolate contains cocoa powder, natural flavors, coconut cream powder, strawberry powder, and monk fruit extract. Vanilla caramel has natural flavors, coconut cream powder, and monk fruit extract. Very simple, nothing unnecessary. I'm not sure how well will this blend, so I'm very excited for the taste test. But before that, let's dive into the sport nutrition science a bit more. 
Compared to the regular protein powder, what makes rest and repair protein powder different is calcium, magnesium and melatonin. How these ingredients aid rest and repair? Calcium supports muscle function and bone density in general, so logically it will benefit you if you get some extra calcium after your training and before going to bed. But are there any plants that have the same amount or even more calcium than 25 grams of rest and repair protein powder? 100 milliliters of fortified soy milk, 85 grams of cooked spinach or 35 grams of tofu will do. Needless to say, they are cheaper and more natural ingredients. You probably heard of athletes using magnesium supplements to prevent muscle cramps. That is true, magnesium helps to relax the muscle, so after a hard day of training, it allows you to recover properly during sleep. Can we get this effect from foods? Magnesium is naturally found in many plant foods. 85 grams of lima beans, 45 grams of cooked spinach or just 5 grams of 100% cocoa powder will have the same amount of magnesium. Melatonin helps the body to sleep and coordinate the cycle between sleeping and being awake. After your exercise, the process of growth and muscle repair happens while you are sleeping. Therefore, you want to get the highest quality of sleep possible. There are some side effects to melatonin supplements. Is there, possibly, any plant that has melatonin naturally? Pistachios or it used to be. There is a research that shows pistachios being rich in melatonin and right after that there is another research debunking it. Maybe it is the same case as with spinach? Even researchers make mistakes, but nonetheless this shows that nuts have some melatonin, among other plants. If you have problems with your sleep, please talk to your doctor before taking any supplements. I am not at all against supplements. I think supplements are essential, especially if you are dealing with some deficiencies or your current diet doesn't allow you to get all the nutrients your body needs. Speaking strictly about sports, there are many legal supplements that can positively impact your performance. But let's not hop on the supplement train to expect amazing results. Even if you take supplements regularly, it won't change much if you don't have a discipline of eating right foods and exercising hard enough. Rather than reaching for melatonin pills, try to limit your screen time before bed, meditate to reduce stress and go to sleep at regular hours. Now that we know everything, it's time for the taste test, but I just realized these are sleep supporting supplements and it's morning and I have a full day of work ahead of me, so I hope this won't make me sleepy. I don't think that's how it works, but just in case I will only take a fraction of the scoop so it will not mess up my day. If it will, I will let you know down below in a comment. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, we have two flavors here, vanilla caramel and strawberry chocolate. Which one I try first? Let's try the strawberry chocolate first. I haven't tried this one before because we've been in lockdown for 60 days and I didn't have any heavy training and I just feel it would be a waste of product since this is supposed to be for the resin repair, it would have nothing to repair because I didn't do any heavy training or any training, almost, at all. I would say it tastes like a strawberry chocolate. It has the strawberry powder and the cocoa powder, so I really hope it has at least a little bit pleasant taste. It's, uh, like, it's, it's, it's like dark pink. I don't think you can see it on the camera well, especially with the purple light behind. But it's nice. It looks like protein powder. It's not like a um, pre-workout or kind of like a creatine powder thing but I believe it should be creamy. But you know what it reminds me of? Oh my God, I hope it won't taste that bad. The Misfit protein bars I reviewed before, there was this one flavor that looked really weird when I showed it. It was like old chocolate something and it was dark chocolate raspberry. And I said it tastes like this traditional Slovak Christmas decoration, salonki. 
and it's just this like very artificial low quality chocolate with the most artificial berry flavor you can imagine like even worse than the cheapest chewing gum so this really reminds me of it but it could be that artificial strawberry flavoring i really like the strawberry flavors of my protein the soy protein powder that one is very good Not bad, really. This was nice flavor. Obviously, I only had a sip. I can feel a little bit of the artificial flavoring, obviously. Uh, there is no place in such a supplement like this to go for natural things. If you want natural things, just take cocoa powder and mix it with strawberries, add the soy milk, and apart from the melatonin, you have all the stuff you want from this, maybe with a little bit of less protein. Um, but it's good. I can imagine to drink like the whole shake before bed, especially I really like snacking on sweet stuff, on sweets. So if I can have this instead, and they also recommend it to only shake it with water. I think maybe to uh, omit the extra calories you would get from some plant milk or maybe it would mess up some compounds. I really don't want to go into details. I didn't really do very very deep research on how melatonin can be affected with other things so uh, just follow the instructions have it with water i would have this one and i'm excited to, to try using it once i start exercising <laughs> chocolate strawberry was pretty good so now let's have a look at the vanilla caramel oh this smells really good it's because i really like the vanilla flavor it's very light I would say I don't smell the artificial flavoring from it as much as from the chocolate strawberry. It's more whitish and I think it's more fine, like a finer protein or finer powder. There we go. So it's wider and I can smell more vanilla than the caramel. Which is surprising because usually they overdo with the caramel flavoring usually in the PhD protein bars. So let's try. I think that the coconut cream powder does a very good job in it because I think thanks to it, it turns into more creamy texture and you don't have to add any plant milk into it and it won't be watery even if you mix it with water. Very good. It's already pretty creamy. I still smell more vanilla than the caramel. So let's try. The smell is more like vanilla, but the flavor gets more like a caramel the more you drink it. Like in my throat right now, I have a pretty pleasant caramel aftertaste and it doesn't taste like the caramel candy is not that overwhelming is not as bad as the uh, salted caramel protein powder from my protein which i really don't like because it's just too much of all the flavors in one shake <laughs> for me with all the other things i like to add to it the macros are very similar to both of them uh they are pretty much identical with a little bit of difference in the calories which is five or something like that and so the only thing you can decide by is the flavor uh, if you like strawberry or if you are more if you're usually drinking the chocolate flavors or the fruity flavors the chocolate strawberry would be for you i don't taste the artificialness in that as much so if you like strawberries and chocolate flavored protein powders this one would be for you but if you like some lighter taste maybe something a little bit more refreshing because this taste I wouldn't say like earthy, but the taste is heavier, if you know what I mean, than this one. This is very light and they both offer the same nutrition. So uh, whichever you choose, I think you will not miss. You can only have one scoop a day, 30 to 60 minutes before sleep with 250 milliliters of water 
and that's it I'm very excited to try this once I really start exercising as I used to. I want to see if this really helps me to sleep better and whether it will have some negative side effects or whether I will feel some difference. I will definitely let you know in a month or two as long as they leave us out and let us exercise. So this would be for the taste test for Vega Rest and Repair. Vega Rest and Repair may be beneficial for you as an athlete, but don't forget that the overall nutrition and your training day by day is much more important than the 2% of your diet supplements consist of. So focus on the main thing that you can change. And once you master your training, your diet habits, and your sleep cycle into absolute perfection, that's when all these supplements will make a difference. Because with only these supplements, you will not make a big changes if you are not making big changes in your diet, sleep, and training. That would be all from me today. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.